الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين وأفضل الصلاة وتم التسليم على سيدنا ومولانا محمد طب القلوب ودوائها ونور الأبصار وضيائها وعافية الأبدان وشفائها وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين الصلاة والسلام عليك يا سيدي يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا سيدي يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا سيدي يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا سيدي يا حبيب الله إن شاء الله today we shall continue with the first أصل the first foundation of this deen just to recap from the last uh, dars we mentioned that al imam al ghazali rahimahullah ta'ala mentioned within this book the fo- the 40 foundations of this deen the first one relates to the that of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and yesterday we discussed uh, a little bit on this topic. Today, inshallah, we shall continue with this. Al Imam Al Ghazali, rahimahullah ta'ala, states, وَأَنَّهُ قَدِيمٌ لَا أَوَّلَ لَهُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pre eternal. He subhanahu wa ta'ala has no beginning. This is known as Qadim. Likewise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as Aliyun la bidayatala. He subhanahu wa ta'ala does not have a beginning. Yesterday, if you remember, we mentioned that all this we see in creation around us we know that this indicates to us that indeed there is one who created all of this indeed there is one who created all of this (coughs) and our logic in that is that how can this come about i.e. how do we see this effect if there was no cause to the thing for example none of you sitting here would accept my claim if i were to say to you that this bench i was looking and out of thin air it began to just exist you will say no this is not possible some craftsmen must have in a factory or something put it together and made it like this he would have had to acquire the raw materials and so on and so on use his skill and then make the bench like this therefore we know likewise if we apply this to the entire creation or the whole universe we know that there is one who created all of this yes The problem is someone who is contesting against the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may ask the question then who created Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? The answer to this is very simple. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is qadeem, pre-eternal always existing i.e. without any cause how we know this rationally if i give you an example for you to understand if i was to say to hajis hold this uh, gun and shoot 
Bilal. But don't shoot him until Aji Sab shoots you. And don't shoot until this person has shot. And don't shoot until this person. If we do this forever, it is impossible that this person ever shoots. Why? Because he's always waiting for the one before him to shoot. And because it is infinite, always happening, therefore this will never happen. And because we see this entire universe around us, we know that there must be one who is without a cause, pre-eternal. And this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Without any cause, he is the one who causes and brings into effect creation. This is known as Qadim pre-eternal. Meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no beginning. We have a beginning. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, هَلْ أَتَى عَلَى الْإِنسَانِ حِينٌ مِّنَ الدَّهْنِ لَمْ يَكُنْ شَيْئًا مَذْكُورًا Let man remember the time when he was not even a mentioned thing. Meaning we didn't exist. We didn't exist. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought us to existence. Then we came in the world. And likewise we will go away. We will leave. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also abadiyun la nihayata la everlasting everlasting he subhanahu wa ta'ala has no end and mustamirul wujud this means his existence is continuous our existence is not Continuous, neither is a pre eternal, neither is a everlasting. How? If we were to see first and foremost, we can all accept that we have a beginning. We all have a beginning. We did not exist, then we came into this world. Yes? We also accept that we will come to an end all of us agree that we will die one day and we will cease to exist but not only that but our very existence is not mustamirul wujud how for example we will cease to exist then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring us back into existence for the day of judgment so our wujud changes comes to existence then ceases to exist and comes to existence. Yes. But if you remember from the last dars, you will remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we said is wajibul wujud. His existence is and is necessary. Our existence is just from the mumkin, the realm of possibility. Neither uh, we are not necessary of existence alongside this there is a, another point to understand over here which relates to how these two azali yani qadim and abadi everlasting how they inter, how they link with one another in reality, both of these two things are very closely linked to each other. And they are in reality are part of the same uh, class of thing. Which is that we exist within time. We exist within time and we exist within makan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator of time. This is a very important point. This is why immediately after this, Imam Al-Ghazali mentions very clearly to make this apparent for the reader. لا يقضى عليه بالانقضاء تسرم الآماد وانقراض الآجال It's very important to understand this, that when we are saying 
that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pre-eternal and everlasting, it does not mean that the clock has always been running for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or it will continue. No. In fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator of time. Time does not affect Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It, it is an effect for us which we see. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is beyond this. And we mentioned this in the last verse that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator and the creator does not, uh, uh, cannot be uh, contained within the creation. Therefore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is munazzah, exalted and beyond even time itself. Bal huwa al-awwal wa al-akhir wa al-zahir wa al-batin wa huwa bi kulli shay'in alim. Rather, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the pre-eternal, the first, wa al-akhir and the everlasting والظاهر والباطن and he سبحانه وتعالى has knowledge of all things has knowledge of all things may Allah سبحانه وتعالى grant us tawfiq to understand this may he سبحانه وتعالى grant us his ma'rifa this was the end of the first foundation of the deen may Allah سبحانه وتعالى grant us the tawfiq to understand this well